Hello, my well-being buddies. We're wel welcome back, and we are going to be doing some breathing techniques. Now, I know throughout some of these videos, you've seen me do some breathing. I've done some triangular breathing, but I just want to explain that breathing techniques are an effective way of reducing stress and anxiety and other negative emotions. But again, not the same technique isn't going to work for everyone. So we're going to give you some different techniques. So the first one we're going to look at is deep breathing. We look at equal breathing, alternative nostril breathing, the 478 breathing, box breathing, the lip breathing and focus breathing. So let's start at the top. Deep breathing is all about being upright, filling your lungs up and really filling your lungs with as much oxygen as you can. And as we exhale, we are going to exhale as deeply, but nice and slowly and controlled as we did inward. So an example of that is this. Hold. So deep breathing will just get to the bottom of your lungs, clear it all out and get you back to where you need to be. Equal breathing. So equal breathing involves inhaling and exhaling for the same length of time. And that's typically four or six seconds. And that looks like this. So again, equal breathing, really good for re-regulating yourself and just slowing everything down. You might want to do alternate nostril breathing. So again, this is a bit of focus work, bit of control here, um, and a real good distraction technique. So this is this. So again, breathing through one, exhaling through the other and swapping it around. And that will re-regulate you and leave you feeling nice, calm and relaxed. There is the four, seven and eight breathing technique. So breathing involves inhaling on the count of four, holding the breath for the count of seven and exhaling on the breath of eight. And that looks like this. So breathing techniques, really important, especially if you've had COVID. Breathing technique strengthens the lungs. Um, and I want to say it was the Opera Society. They actually have breathing videos. Um, so if you've got asthma, COPD, or you've had long COVID, if you watch some of their videos, they have been taking people that were only having 8, 9, 10% lung capacity using breathing techniques and they were getting them back to nearly 60 to 80% lung capacity just through breathing techniques to re-get those muscles working again. So if you have got asthma, COPD, or you've had long COVID, go and have a look at the Opera Society's breathing techniques. It's absolutely fascinating. So box breathing is this square, really. So inhale for four, Hold for four, exhale for four. It's a square. It's 
So box breathing, nice and easy. The poops lips breathing, so you can kind of on your lips. Um, this breathing involves uh, breathing through the nose and slowly through the lips as if you're blowing out a candle. And that looks like this. So nice and slow. In through the nose. And out like you're blowing a candle. That's nice and slow, nice and controlled. And finally, we're going to look at some focus breathing. So focus breathing involves focusing all your attention on that breath without being judgmental or distraction. And really, this is the one that we did in mindfulness. So I like to close my eyes on this one. and I just want to focus on my breath. And that looks like this. You can see that breath going in. I can feel that breath going out. I can feel that breath going in. And I can feel that breath going out. Really nice and controlled. And again, leaving you very calm and very relaxed. Breathing techniques practices alone or in combination with other relaxation techniques such as visualization, muscle relaxation, and that mindfulness will absolutely push them to the optimum, improve your mental health and well-being, and have much better outcomes. So good luck on those breathing techniques. Find the ones that work for you. And again, if you do have COPD, asthma, or COVID, I highly recommend you look at that Opera Society breathing uh, course that they do. Take care. Bye for now.